Let's build the chat application using Laravel, Pusher and Vue.js from scratch. So while building that we'll get a chance to learn some important concepts uh, in Laravel like events, broadcasting, notifications. So let's get started. So I'll open up terminal and switch into my WW folder. So I just use shortcut to just navigate to this location if you use Laragon and I'll create a new uh, project with Laravel new I'll call it LChat short form for Laravel chat okay now let's cd into LChat open it up on VS code setup.env put database name username root in my case and there is no password and we need to create database with name lchat okay now let's visit our application so I might need to reload this so since there is lchat folder Laragon will automatically create this lchat.test there we go so since it is chat application we will need authentication so let's quickly whip up that php artisan make auth now let's migrate migration done now let's visit again there we go we got auth also set up let's log in before that let's register okay so this is the home page and we'll create a design here for our chat application maybe we'll have something like drawer and which shows the list of user that user can chat so i'm thinking of using beautify uh, components for uh, building that for that we'll uh, to use view we need uh, our view scaffolding and we need to install all the uh, packages from package.json okay so this will install all these and let's do npm install npm install done uh, now we can use our view components in our pages so we don't need to do anything here we just now let's try if we can use our component for before that uh, i need to run npm run watch to listen for any changes and compile all these code uh, with that running let's go to our layout app dot blade here uh, we don't need to do anything because we are already import uh, this default template already got these code to import these and all necessary css so we can go to the page that is home.blade we shows the dashboard and here mm, let's use our example component to see if your component is working or not save it let's go to our home page there we go so after npm install is done i want to pull in beautify so just run npm install beautify save all right once that is done we need to use uh beautify as a plugin inside our resources asset js app.js so here okay we already importing view and then import beautify and use beautify also we'll need css so we this all right and if we want this material design icons we need to import this as well so this i will include on layout app.blade and we can import put it here that will be fine uh, now our uh, beautify should be all set 
all right so after all setup step uh, is complete and after all pulling in all required packages to build this application uh, here I've created a simple view uh, component for chat so let me walk you through what I've done so after we done PSP artisan make auth we got this app plate so here I've used a beautified uh, component toolbar component to display the toolbar so since we are using it inside blade component uh, we can use we can uh, we have also access to route so if user is guest then so log in and register if already logged in so the username and logout link and others uh, we are yielding content and the page we are seeing it is home dot blade so I have included a chat component there inside home uh, dot blade so let's see that chat dot view by the way I've also registered it here so we need to register the component without that we can use so we can get rid of example component for now just leave that okay so uh, after register we can use that component anywhere so let's focus on chat dot view so everything will be uh, will be doing everything inside this component since we got everything uh, there and here we are looping through uh, so inside this list we are looping through all messages and currently it is not dynamic where I am just putting dummy content uh, we are looping through so this V list is on like uh, UL tag in beautify and we are just looping through comment uh, looping through messages sorry and displaying messages and inside footer I put a uh, form to send a message that's it okay so after all front-end part is done uh, let's go to our backend and create a broadcast message to pusher and then pull in here so alright so first let's create a model and migration so we'll create a message model with migration So I will create that with PHP artisan make model and name will be messages. I will create uh, everything. So this A flag will create controller, model, migration and factory. Alright, so it is creating controller. So meanwhile, let's go to create messages table, the migration that we just created and add our fields. Alright, so currently we'll uh, have just two fields, one to store message and one to know the user who user posted the message. Also, we need to go to the message model and then set up relationship between this and user. Add user return this belongs to similarly we'll go to user class and create uh, the relationship messages return so this user has many messages all right so after that uh, let's migrate to create a table create a route to create uh, to post the message to database and to fetch messages all right so these two are route fetch message and send messages so let's go to message controller and define those two routes okay by default laravel created us uh, these create destroy so actually for now just get rid of this default that Laravel creates and let's create our two method fetch messages and send messages so this will just return all messages so with user relationship so that we have user in our front end to reference 
so this will return the user uh, class as well related to messages and here we'll create a message we'll accept the request so we can do uh, auth user we'll get the user and we'll access the relationship messages and then we'll say create and we'll create our message and we'll return sent so everything inside this should require uh, should have the auth middleware so we'll pass that inside constructor so we'll use the auth middleware here so that all should be only accessible by authenticated user otherwise we don't have this we, this will have null and then it will throw error okay so our route to fetch message and post message are in place okay so next we'll set up pusher and all broadcasting related settings in our project so first you need to go to pusher.com and sign up for account if you already have account you can just log in so after uh, you log in you'll get this type of dashboard and from here you can create a new app so here oh, i got a couple of existing apps so so create channels app and you can name your app anything you want i will call it uh, lchat at the end okay so uh, these are required this is optional so create my app okay so after you create project uh, go to app key section and just copy these credentials into your .env file okay after you set up your uh, pusher credentials you need to pull in two packages one is laravel echo and another is pusher js so i will install those two with uh, this command npm install laravel echo space pusher js so by the way i've already installed other packages otherwise you have to uh, first run npm install and then you have to run this all right so after that is installed so we just set up our pusher oh. sorry we just set up pusher on back end we also need to set this up on uh, front end so we just install laravel echo so we use that to receive the signal uh, that pusher sends in our front end so for that we need to go to assets.js and app.js sorry we need to go to assets.js bootstrap.js so it will so it have uh, already uh, some commented code you need to uncomment these uh, we use broadcaster as pusher and we need to put in key and then cluster next we need to go to config.broadcasting and here we got some options like broadcast driver which you want to use and we are already setting that up from .env file so we don't need to do anything in this file uh, let's go back to .env and let's see broadcast driver is log all right so here in broadcast driver we need to make from log to pusher but before doing that we need to pull in uh, the pusher php sdk so if you go to the broadcasting section of laravel documentation you'll find all information here uh, regarding pusher configuration so first we'll just require this package and then we'll proceed all right so after the pusher psv sdk is pulled in uh, let's uh, now we can change the broadcast driver from log to pusher so all other settings we already done okay also to use broadcasting service we need to go to config broadcasting uh, sorry config app app and we need to activate the broadcasting uh, app service provider so 
this provider broadcast service provider this is uh, commented by default we need to uncomment this to use broadcast service in our application and now uh, let's create a okay now we need to create a event uh, which we will trigger on message sent and that will broadcast the message to uh, other user actually that will broadcast to pusher and then pusher will send that to our front end application so let's create a new event using php artisan make event and i'll call it uh, message sent okay so let's go to message sent event and in this event uh, okay first thing we need to do is uh, implement should broadcast which is already importing here so uh, that tells laravel that it should broadcast and in constructor we'll accept uh, we'll need user user object so and also need message so we need to create these two and let's create these two fields so we need to create uh, the make them public so message and also user and then we need to assign these all right so now in our class we can use these two properties so now we need to broadcast this to the channel we can give the channel name any channel name we want so yeah let's give it chat for now or l chat whatever you want so it will broadcast this to this channel l chat okay so once this uh, event is in place we need to trigger this event in our message controller so in message controller after user sent and after this is done we need to trigger this event so event new message sent and we also need to pass the message message and also we need to tell Laravel to broadcast this to others not to the currently logged in user so only the user uh, only to other users those are logged in not to the current user actually it should be broadcast so broadcast this new message sent event to others okay so uh, one last step is to uh, to make uh, this channel l chat only accessible by authenticated user so otherwise everyone can access so also this is the private channel so uh, only the authenticated user can access private channel so we need to go to routes sorry route channels.php so inside routes there is channel.php we need to create a new channel actually we already got the channel named lchat that we are broadcasting in and so here what we'll do is return auth check so it will return true if if the user is authenticated all right so our backend part is all done now we need to handle uh, this in our front end